a snout like a tiny elephant, legs like a star sprinter, and a brain built for heat detection and ambushes. This creature is anything but primitive. Let's travel back to the Eocene, to the lush but challenging Fayum Depression in ancient Egypt. Here the ancestors of today's elephant shrews, the early Macrocilidians, thrived in a world of gravel flats, thorny scrub, and life-giving waterways. Their unique design was a masterclass in survival, solving three key problems. Staying cool, avoiding predators, and finding food. That long snout wasn't just for looks. It was a precision vacuum cleaner. In the cool mornings, it would dip into the leaf litter, slurping up ants and termites. As the sun climbed higher, they'd move to shaded roots, listening for the faint vibrations of beetle larvae in the soil. Their long hind limbs and elastic tendons allowed for explosive sprints. Imagine a rapid jitter turning into a burst of speed, letting them outrun Eocene cats and predatory birds over short, tricky distances. Their oversized ears acted like radiators to dissipate heat, while also pinpointing the rustle of hidden insects. And their forward-facing eyes were perfect for high-speed obstacle navigation. Their territories were a patchwork of microclimates. Mornings were for foraging in open patches. Midday meant retreating to cool, wind-scoured burrows. As dusk fell, they'd raid thorny hedges for fallen fruit and the insects it attracted. When drought hit, they'd switch to high-value targets like grubs and seeds harder to catch, but worth the effort for the vital protein and energy. Even their courtship was efficient. Scent posts, thrilling figure eight-foot races, and secret nests tucked away in thorny tangles where predators couldn't reach. A look at their skeletons confirms this story. Long foot bones for speed, a lightweight skull for quick head turns, and large nasal passages for a powerful sense of smell and suction feeding. Their family tree, Afrotheria, actually places them closer to elephants and manatees, a relationship that goes far deeper than a cute trunk-like nose. As adorable as they are, there's nothing accidental about them. Their design is a brilliant calculation, a story of outsmarting predators, beating the midday heat, and turning mere crumbs into a thriving existence. Thanks for joining us on this journey to the Fayum, the ancient home of these amazing animals. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment with your nomination for our next Looks Wrong, Works Great Creature.